are live in the loft and keeping it real with some star power this morning. We are talking to comedian, actress, Ooh. host, author, Lonnie Love. Ew, Lonnie Love. Some, spit some bars Ew. here real quick. Ew. Yep, <laughs> and she's back in town as a guest speaker for My the special. My shiny. See? Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but she's back in town for a film festival uh, for the first ever HBCU First Look Film Festival hosted by Howard University. That kicks off today. We are wow. so happy to have you with us. Oh, we've been talking about it all, all week. This morning, the Cafe Mocha radio host in Prairie View A&M. That's University right. Graduate. Get it right. we got to yep. include that in there. She's with us to talk about the fast and more. Good morning. First of all, you can read. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's just your first week on the job. <laughs> he was like, and the festival is good morning. <laughs> all the read, brother Steve. <laughs> you almost threw him off there, but he got it. He got it. Listen, it is so good to have you on. It's, it's funny. You, I was man. telling you, I feel like we've met before because we've seen you on TV and we all connect connect with you, right? You, mm -hmm. you come off so genuine. So it's good to meet you. Thank you. And uh, tell me about this festival. I am so excited, you guys, because this is the first ever film festival which features HBCU graduate submissions. We had over 125 submissions. Oh, this is wow. my radio show, Cafe Mocha Radio, uh, that's executive produced by Sheila Eldridge. And she is a Howard uh, University alumni. She wanted to give back something because we need black creatives. Oh. We need yes. HBCU creatives in this industry. So we decided to have this film festival. We partnered with Urban One, with ESPN, Paramount, and with Netflix. And we decided to have a weekend of film festivals. I'm going to announce the grand winners this, uh, this afternoon. And then it's just showing the films, also having great uh, sessions with different people in the industry. We have my girl Ruth Carter, the yeah. uh, two-time um, Oscar, Oscar winner. Yeah. She's going to be present um, tomorrow. And it's just a really great festival to network for young filmmakers. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm thinking about this. I'm an HBCU graduate, so All right. I, I love this idea. Where'd you go? Johnson C. Smith University. I'm sorry. Oh, All right. Oh, wait, oh. Now, wait, now, wait, now, wait a minute. We just met now. Wait a minute. She ain't playing. See? See? <laughs> See, these are fighting words. I told her she could go in a little bit, but she, <laughs> she, she went in. Like, she went all the way in. Uh, but, but you know HBCUs can be uh, beautiful places to be, but sometimes they don't have the resources to get those film programs. And so a program like this, and, and at least a film festival, could be game-changing for the students. Uh, what are the students' responses to something like this? I mean, they loved it. Like I said, when we opened up the submissions, we had 125 submissions. Oh, yeah. We had movies from two hours to five minutes. Mm. And so out of that, we got seven finalists from documents, uh, uh, documentaries, from animation, um, short form, long form. It was really, really nice. And so the thing is, is that there are a lot of HBCU people that are in the industry now. You have Will Packard. Yeah. You have... Uh, Spike Lee. I mean, the list goes on and on. Yeah. So why not bring it home and give more opportunities for people in the HBCUs? Y'all have to come tonight. Tonight is our opening film festival, Rustin, with my starring my man, Mr. Coleman Domingo. It is about yeah. Uh, yeah. Baynard Rustin, who is the civil rights activist. So we're opening the festival with that. Mm. And then all day, you can see all the submissions that we had from these wonderful students. Yeah. It's just going to be a great weekend. That. You know, and you guys aren't just talking to, to aspiring filmmakers and people who want to get in the business. This benefits all of us. Representation, people behind the scenes. We know how important that is, given what you can see on the screen. So I'm curious for you, why should we all be invested in, in making sure that this is a success? Entertainment is so important. You know, entertainment and news, what you all do is very, very important. It provides um, information to people. Entertainment and movies gives escapism to people. And right now, in these times, sometimes we need that. But we need to hear everybody's voice. We need to hear diversity of voices. And so that is what a film festival like this does. It provides opportunities for those people that might not get the opportunity. Yeah. Plus, y'all get to meet me. I mean, oh, listen. Oh, look, that's, that's the gift itself. The we should have left it. We getting. buried the lead, really. <laughs> Well, well, so along with them meeting you, who else is going to be there? Oh, we, we like I said, we're going to have um, two-time Oscar winner Ruth Carter. We're also going to have media media mogul Kathy Hughes. Mm -hmm. um, She's done also, we have Sheila Eldridge, who is the executive producer of my yeah. radio show, Cafe Mocha, which airs at Howard University. And we just have a plethora of people. The producer of Dear White People, um, Stephen Love, is also going to be. It's and they're guy. giving workshops. Yeah. So this is like, if you, if you you want to get information from professionals, mm -hmm. if you want to get some insights, some networking, this is the place to be this weekend on Howard University's campus. Let me ask you, from your perspective, 
If there's a, an aspiring filmmaker watching right now, and I mm -hmm. ask this to Ruthie Carter as well, who is feeling discouraged, maybe frustrated, what is one word of advice or, or inspiration that you would give them? Liquor. No. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> no. No. Seriously, just, you know, use the resources <laughs> that you have. Use the resources. There are resources yeah. now back. In the, I've been in this 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have Google when I was uh, oh, oh, Wait. ancient. We didn't have this. <laughs> you can go to YouTube. You, can, you have the iPhone. You can make your, use all the resources that yeah. you have. Even if it's just a two-minute movie, you want to be a filmmaker, start your two, just make a two-minute movie. You have all kind of things that you can do right on yeah. your phone. Use your resources. I tell you what, even in this business, you never know who's watching, right? All that it takes is, is Why one you think I'm on here something? talking to y'all too? <laughs> A job. We just got finished with the, the strike. Right. Hello. Listen. Right. I mean, you can always come work with us, but come on. That's all right. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, Ruth might be a little different if she comes on, but you know, it's okay. Ew, ew, like something ew, like that, right? Ew, you never know what you might ew, find see? on Fox Five. It just Thanks happens. for joining us. You welcome. Let me help you out as we toss it to uh, Homer. Uh, stick it, uh, listen, stick around for celebrity dish. She's gonna be joining us. Yeah, she's dancing going on. Homer, we'll send it back over to you. They said stop, y'all. That's it. We're done. Okay.